Okay, so we're going to give you an up-close look at separating the wet end and uh, the pump strain of housing on the Hayward Super Pump. All right, so we showed you from far away after we removed the four 916 bolts. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move the motor back a little bit like this. There you go, and you can see inside here the diffuser is inside here. Okay, there you go. And there's your impeller, just so you know. And here's your diffuser, so later on when you want to put this back, you'll see right on top of there it says top. Okay, got that camera focus in there. There you go. See, it says top right there. When you're going to put it back on later, it says top. So you can put this on here like this. Like that. so that's, that's how you put it back on later. So just in case I forgot to show you later, where it says top, it goes back on. Okay, on top here, there's a gasket. You want to make sure this gasket is good by stretching it out and visual inspecting for cracks and dryness. If it's a little dry, you want to lubricate it uh, with something like Vaseline or something with a non-corrosive-based you know, corrosive, uh, based jelly oil. All right, so there we go. That is your uh, diffuser and your diffuser gasket. And now we have separated the housing. I want to show you something else here. You can see here there is also a gasket right inside here. Okay, this is called your housing gasket. You want to remove this and check this gasket as well. All right, you want to check that by stretching it and visually inspecting also for cracks, tears, and wears. All right, there we go. That is the housing gasket. We'll move that out of the way. All right, so now we have to strip down that housing gasket out of there, and we have to and remove the top gasket there. Right, there you go. All right, so that gasket is out of there. And now what we have there is we have the impeller. So this impeller is actually going to spin. This motor is frozen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to loosen that. So we'd actually loosen it because usually the motor spins. Like So if, if you have a motor that was just making noise and your shaft still spins, then we're going to show you how to loosen it by taking off the back cover. But I see this impeller actually spins off. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to show you now how to remove the impeller and how to remove the seal plate. And then I'm going to show you how to remove the seal and then how to remove the seal plate, seal from the seal plate and stuff like that. And then we're going to also show you how to take apart the motor. And we're going to also show you how to take part off this impeller if your shaft was spinning as well.